what to do when your staff is undermining you. All right, first, let's get a little channel business out of the way. If you're looking to be the best manager slash leader that you can possibly be, consider subscribing. So today's video comes from a channel subscriber and she asks, I have one employee I work with that likes to make a lot of counter arguments with me about things that should be done or thinks the things that I say need to get done aren't important and it's a constant battle. I try my best to figure out how to respond in these situations without basically saying shut up. I want to figure out good ways to communicate without responding with annoyance or anger and I'm looking to find better ways to speak in order for these types of arguments not to happen in the first place. Okay, so my interpretation of this question slash situation is basically like the title of the video implies, you have an employee who is undermining you. Now my quick answer is going to be what I sometimes have to say to my kids. Listen, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. And that is the angry dad face. I don't know if it comes through on camera like that. Anyways. But let's get into something a little more detailed to try to help out. Also, remember, if you have a question and you think maybe I can help, send it off to me. Anyway, the first thing this subscriber has to do is she has to be firm. In the same way that I say to my kids, I'm not asking you, you need to use firm language. Phrases like, this needs to be done before you leave today. Or, I want you to start this immediately. Now, if they are insisting on doing something other than requested, you can simply say, that is not your priority. Your intent is not to come across rude or demanding, but more unwavering and a matter of fact. Second, with this employee, you wanna make sure that you're always friendly, but not necessarily friends. Next week, I'm gonna be posting a video specifically created about being a boss while being friends, which I will link up somewhere up here. I'm not gonna show up if you've watched this within the first week, clearly. Anyway, but for now, know that you are not required to be best friends with everyone. Friendly, yes. Firm, absolutely. Best friends, no. Third, try to get them on your side. Now, this is more of a long game approach but it can definitely work wonders. Outside of direct orders, ask these people for their opinions. Ask them for help if they're more knowledgeable in certain areas than you are. Show them gratitude. See the link above, which is a video specifically about the power of saying thank you. If people feel they're respected by you, it is much harder for them to be disrespectful. Fourth, hand them a discipline. This is something that I personally put off as much as I can. But everyone needs to know that there is a line. And at some point, there has to be consequences for people's actions. You can't constantly argue with or justify yourself to an employee, especially in front of a group. Debate or constructive questioning, that's great. But employees need to learn and understand how far is too far. And sometimes the only way to get through to someone is to put it in writing and perhaps hit their wallets if you choose to suspend them. I recall a manager was trying to set up a potluck for his crew. He was new in the company and he was eager to get his crew working more like a team. And he thought this was the way to bond. He was right, in my opinion. Anyway, he had everyone on board after the initial proposal. Two days later, while having a debrief, one of the extremely negative people decided to announce in front of the crew that it was a foolish idea that she would not partake and she doubted anyone really wanted to join. This manager was deflated and he asked my opinion. My opinion was this. What I would have done is I would have pulled her aside after it happened and in private or in the company of a union rep. 
I would have firmly told her that such rude outbursts in front of the team were never to be acceptable. She could have easily and discreetly gone to the manager or me if, if I was in the situation and opted out. I also would ask her for her input on creating a better team. At the end of the day, you're the leader. You have to answer for what does and what does not get done on your watch. Always remember that. And to the subscriber who asked this, I hope that this can kind of guide you in your situation. I really appreciate the opportunity to deep dive into this question. And for anyone else, please consider subscribing. Cheers.